collapsing pregnant teenager has led investigators to a Jacksonville landfill. That is according to multiple Action News Jax sources. This is new video from Sky Action News Jax taken in the last 90 minutes. You can see investigators there in yellow suits sifting through trash in the landfill. 16-year-old Ayana Sawyer has been missing for nearly a month. The girl was last seen leaving Terry Parker High School in mid-December. Now, her school is roughly 30 miles from that landfill in northwest Jacksonville. Today, at least two dozen JSO cruisers were on that scene. I'm John Bachman. I'm Letitia Barriola. JSO has only confirmed the search is in connection to a lead in an active investigation. New at 5, Action News Jack's Ben Becker is live near the landfill. And Ben, JSO has been out there for more than six hours now. Letitia, that's right. They were coming through mounds of trash here at the Otis Road landfill all day long. Now, Action News Jax received a tip around 11 a.m. that there was a massive police presence here. As multiple sources told us, JSO was searching for evidence related to the teen's disappearance. Action News Jax obtained these pictures from a source, which shows more than two dozen JSO cruisers in a staging area at the Otis Road landfill. Looking for what Action News Jax has learned is evidence related to the disappearance of 16 year old Ayana Sawyer who was also five months pregnant. Here are cruisers coming and going from the scene this afternoon. This is what it looked like from Sky Action News Jax. You can see investigators in what appears to be yellow hazmat suits going through garbage. Meantime, JSO will only tell us they are following up an investigative lead in an active case. Action News Jax first told you in December, Sawyer was last seen leaving Terry Parker High School for lunch on December the 19th. This JSO report says Sawyer didn't show up for her last two classes on that day. Action News Jack spoke to Sawyer's aunt shortly after the teen vanished. She's a straight-A student, over 4.0 GPA. She has scholarships. She got her first scholarship when she was in elementary, has multiple scholarships. Action News Jack told you last week her uncle by marriage, Jonathan Keeles, was arrested on what JSO said are unrelated sexual assault charges. And in the past 30 minutes, I've seen a number of cruisers leaving here. Nowhere from JSO if anything was found. I also briefly spoke to Sawyer's mother today, and she had no comment. Ahead of six, I'm reaching out to the company who runs the landfill to get more information about why, about why JSO was here. Reporting live from Northwest Jacksonville, Ben Becker, CBS 47, Action News Jax.